Hello, this is Matt from LeanStacks, and welcome to another LeanStacks unscripted technology instruction video. In this episode, I'll show you how to install new packages on an EC2 instance. Our EC2 instance, which is illustrated here uh, in the EC2 dashboard, the instance name is EV001. This EC2 instance happens to be running the Amazon Linux operating system, which is a derivative of the CentOS operating system. Therefore, it uses the yum Linux package manager. Um, it's a different Linux package manager than what uh, Debian based uh, Linux operating systems use like Ubuntu server. Uh, they use the apt package manager. Uh, CentOS, Red Hat, Enterprise Linux, and Amazon Linux use the yum package manager. Uh, so that's what you'll see used today. Uh, I hope you watched the previous video in the LeanStacks Unscripted series uh, where I showed you how to update uh, packages using the YUM package manager. Uh, today's episode will be very similar, but we will be installing a new package uh, onto our EC2 instance. So let's get started. First, let's begin by opening a terminal on our system so that we can SSH uh, to the EV001 EC2 instance. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm displaying the contents of my local system directory. Um, and the key pair file that we created when we provisioned this EC2 instance is located here. This is an SSH identity file, uh, which is how AWS uh, authenticates uh, individuals who are SSHing to uh, an EC2 instance. So that SSH command, uh, which you've seen illustrated in, in previous episodes in this uh, LeanStacks unscripted uh, DevOps uh, series of, of episodes, uh, looks like this. SSH with the dash I uh, option, uh, which is where you provide uh, either a relative or absolute path uh, to that key pair file. Um, since we're already in that directory, uh, the, it, it's simply listing the file name itself. Uh, the username on all EC2 instances is EC2-user, followed by the at symbol, um, and then after the at symbol, um, I use the public DNS name. You can use either the public DNS name or the public IP address of that EC2 instance. Uh, press enter to SSH to the server. As you can see, uh, the server prints a, a little banner to the console um, indicating that uh, you've successfully SSH to an EC2 instance running the Amazon Linux uh, operating system. Also, you can tell that, that you're now working on that system uh, by the prompt itself, uh, letting you know the username and the host name uh, which these commands are being issued to. So I'm going to clear uh, my console uh, and get started. So as I mentioned before, we're th the Amazon Linux operating system uses the YUM package manager. Um, just to introduce you a bit to YUM, um, it, there are a variety of commands available within YUM. In the previous video, uh, we saw the update command used, uh, where we scanned all of the installed packages on our server and identified uh, one package that required updates. Um, and, and we applied those updates to our system and rebooted the server. So if you haven't seen that video, I encourage you to go back to the LeanStacks YouTube channel and check it out. Uh, today we're going to be using the install command um, to just install a, a small Linux package to illustrate how easy it is uh, to install new packages onto your server uh, using the YUM package manager. To find more information about YUM, uh, you can come to you can view the YUM manual just as we are here um, by typing man space YUM. So, for those of you who are familiar with any Linux operating system, you're almost certainly aware of the program called Top. Uh, Top shows you a, a summary of the uh, system resource state, uh, followed by a, a 
tabular listing of all of the running active processes on the system at this time um, and how much resources they are consuming. Uh, TOPS a great program. It, it's been around uh, for many, 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 many years. Um, and what we're going to install today is a newer um, and in my opinion a, a little bit easier on the eyes and easier to read version of top called HTOP. So I'm going to press Control C to exit from top. I'll clear my console again and uh, we will install HTOP. So to install a package or to basically to use almost any yum package manager command uh, we need to use sudo uh, to elevate our, our current user privileges um, to the administrative or, or re user privileges temporarily. So we will use sudo space yum and the yum command we're going to use is install and the name of the package, so following the install command, uh, you can enter one or more package names. Uh, if you're using multiple package names, simply separate them with a space. Uh, but we are just going to install uh, one today, which is called htop. So this command says uh, use sudo, use sudo uh, to, to require temper or to acquire temporary administrator privileges and using the yum package manager install a package named htop. I'll press enter. Um, as you can see yum searches the configured set of package repositories. Since we're running Amazon Linux those package repositories are Amazon's package repositories, the main repository and the update repository. Uh, it identified one specific package uh, associated with the uh, HTOP, um, which is this version of HTOP, which is the latest version of HTOP in Amazon's repositories. Um, it shows a listing of both the HTOP package and if HTOP required any additional dependencies to be installed, they would also be listed here. Uh, in this case, we're going to, it's requesting permission to install just a single package. Um, it shows the downloaded size and how big it will be on the server when it's installed. We can press N for no if we don't want to install this package uh, for some reason. Um, in our case, we will press Y. Uh, for yes. Because this package is so small, the yum package manager installs it quite quickly. Uh, it runs a transaction in integrity check uh, before installing it, uh, just making sure that the system is in a state uh, and all of the currently installed packages are in a state. There's not going to be any conflicts created when this package or packages are installed. Um, and then it, it executes the transaction, um, installing the package and verifying the installation when it's done. Um, so we can test this. The command, instead of top, which we viewed previously, I'll show top once again. Again, this is top, not htop. So here's top. Now let me show htop. As you can see, uh, Immediately, it's visually different. Um, it's color-based, uh, not monochrome. Um, at the top, where the uh, overall summary of the system state uh, is shown, it's done using uh, rudimentary bar graphs. However, you know, I think to the the, the human eye, uh, we can much more readily absorb this information, especially if you know the memory or CPU or swap space bar graphs uh, are further to the right, indicating a critical system state. Um, it, it's very readily apparent how much of your system resources are being used. Um, there's still the tabular listing of all the processes being used. Um, the process IDs, the username they're running as, um, and the amount of system resources, uh, memory, uh, virtual memory, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, are being used, the CPU percentage uh, and the percentage of memory that's being used, as well as how long that process has been running in terms of uh, not elapsed time, but how much CPU time that the process has consumed. Um, there are function keys listed at the bottom. 
um, to kill a process, to exit HTOP, to get help um, or, or perform other actions. So overall, uh, again, it's my personal opinion, but HTOP is, is, a, is superior to TOP um, in its ability to convey information uh, about the processes running on the server. So I'll press Control C again to exit from HTOP and clear my console. I hope you've enjoyed this unscripted LeanStacks technology instruction video. To watch more LeanStacks episodes, go to the LeanStacks YouTube channel. To find more information about LeanStacks technologies, go to LeanStacks.com.